Matt, just where do you feel like this one got away? Well, I think just anything that really I thought it started to get away um, was the end of the first half. I thought we had a couple plays where we could have made simple passes um, at the end of the first half to have a better lead. We, um, we foul a three-point shooter, whether we fouled him or not, and then they get an offensive rebound. It ends up being a five-point play, and then we make a couple um, poor decisions on the break. Um, that, that, that one definitely should have led to a basket. The other one should have put us in a, a better position. So instead of being up, you know, 13 to 16 points, you know, we're up eight and a half. And we really addressed how important, you know, the um, end of the first end of the first half and the beginning of the second half was. And anytime you have a run like that, um, it's very important to be solid to start the second half. And then we don't execute a play we drew up, and then we take a tough shot right away. And I thought it really set the tone for us battling. And then we, we just didn't finish around the rim. I think we got some, some drives there. We had the ball on putbacks. We had a lot of offensive rebounds. So I thought we had some good effort on the glass. But we just didn't finish at the rim, and we have to do a better job of finishing. So, and then we had breakdowns. You know, We had some breakdowns on Dallas Moore, and we allowed him to get his head up. And we explained to our guys about how good of a player he was. And... Um, you know, if you let a guy like that get his head up, he's going to make some shots. We just had too many breakdowns there, but you got to give them credit. I thought North Florida, the, the position they got into, we could have really pushed the game out, and they didn't allow that. Um, and they got, like I said, they got some breaks at the um, end of the first half when we made those poor decisions where we should have, you know, been able to push the game out a little bit at that time. And um, but they they made plays, you know, but they weren't they weren't perfect by any stretch. You know, they they shot 52 percent from the free throw line. They they made their threes. Um, but they struggled at the free throw line, so it wasn't like they made, you know, all those plays. You know, they 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 just hung in there and battled and made enough. Uh, Matt, all like, three of the players like Amy in here mentioned the energy and focus was low. How would you assess your team's energy and focus? Well, you gotta you gotta do your job. You know, I, I thought we had too many breakdowns on the defensive end. Um, Eleven turnovers in the first half um, is, is just being careless. I thought we had some guys with some predetermined thoughts. From an offensive standpoint, you know, you got to play the game and you got to have a feel to it and you got to be able to read and react. And I thought some guys, you know, you know, were, were going to shoot it or going to pass it before the decision should be made. And uh, when that happens, you're going to turn it over. We were better um, in terms of not turning over in the second half, but we, we still had way too many perimeter shots. When the, when the ball's not going in for you, you got to be a little bit more patient. You got to probe the defense. You got to drive it a little bit more. You got to throw the ball inside a little bit more. But. Obviously, when you look at what Haas and Hammonds did, especially in the first half, it didn't seem like North Florida was doubling them very much. Did they change something in the second half, or was it just... No, not really. They, they stayed the same way. Their big guy fouled out. Um, I thought the, the guy that then subbed in, I thought he did a really good job defensively. Um, but we were getting it, you know, at the rim. And so you look at the numbers our guys had, but you look at also five or six missed layups um, to go on top of that. And uh, we got to make our free throws, and we got to make our layups. And if we do that, we win the game. Matt, I'm sorry I had to run down and get their coach. But anyway, um, you know, in a game, the, the, this is kind of a, a, an interesting numbers game. You 50 boards, and yeah. you got lots of, you know, opportunities, and uh, your big guys played well. But um, there were some little things down the stretch that didn't go right. Uh, right. Maybe they asked you about that. But yeah. could you talk maybe about, as you see it, a couple, yeah. three things that just didn't go right? Yeah, well, you know, everything that could go wrong for us in the last two minutes did. You know, we miss a front end of a one and one um, you know, we have a free throw uh, rebound at the end that we two of our guys, you know, don't communicate, and then they end up, we end up fouling them as he gets the basketball. Uh, we call timeout to set up what we're going to do defensively, um, and our guys don't, you know, carry out their assignment, and then he gets that three in the corner. You know, he, he didn't do it. We didn't do what we were supposed to, and we've defended it um, before that way. So there was just a, a lot of things that we needed to do. And then we flip it at the end and we don't have timeouts and we talk about it and, and tell them and just say, Hey, if he makes one or two of these free throws, it's a two possession game, go get a quick two. And you know, he makes one out of two and we're up four and we, sh we shoot a dribble handoff three. And if he missed both of them, we're going to go for a three at that time. And, you know, just, just little things like that. you got to just keep going and getting two points, cut it back to two, extend the game. Hopefully it's at five or six seconds, and uh, you can make a play at that time. It's a low percentage thing, but it keeps the game going and you continue the game. And we just, you know, we didn't execute down the stretch and make plays. You mentioned yesterday that um, 
as much as you were complimentary of the unselfishness that your offense was showing, you were worried right. about how many just uncontested or contested jump shots you were taking, right. quick jump shots. Do you think right. that cost you again today? Well, I, I thought in NC State we had it. I, I, I thought we had a couple um, – you know, guys, and we watched film, and we talked about it, and taking some shots out of rhythm, taking contested jump shots. And we said, "Hey, this has to be, this has to get fixed, and we have to do a better job here." And uh, it wasn't the the root of it. Uh, I thought defensively was our issue. I thought our breakdowns. I thought you know Dallas Moore was great. Um, I, I thought they had some other guys really step up and play well and drive the basketball against us and, and put us in some binds. Um, but no, we 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 shot too many contested shots. I thought once again. Uh, but you got to watch the film and, and kind of see it. If you finish around the rim, you know, it kind of goes away, but it's still an issue. It's one of those things that you try to address when you win and the point doesn't get across until you lose. Matt, obviously, I think six, seven years ago, a, a talented freshman group, we talked yesterday about yeah. it, lost to Wofford. Right. And that group always said they never forgot that game and that they right. learned from that game. Right. The challenge for this team now is – Similar to Hummel's group, learning from Wofford, does this group really have to learn from North Florida? No question. I mean, I think it's that's the only choice you have at this point when you lose games, you know, is to try to learn from it and um, try not to let it happen again. You have to defend your home court. Um, but it's also, you know, understanding there's great players everywhere. That's what I always tell our guys. I said, you have to prepare for North Florida like it's Florida. And if you have maturity in your locker room, you do that. And we prepared for them and we practiced and there was no signs until you get to the game. You know, that, that's kind of the, the beauty or the ugliness um, of coaching sometimes. There's no sign that this is going to happen until you get to the game. And, um, you know, I, I thought, you know, those guys were just quicker to the basketball. They hung in the game. They just kind of hung in the game. And uh, you can't allow people to hang around like that, and uh, especially when you have weapons like they do. I know it gets kind of obscured in the loss, but you said the other day you weren't even sure how much Bryson would be able to really play because of the injury. Right. And I, today seemed like one of his better games in terms of his contribution. Best game. I thought he was great. I thought he, he gave us a spark, um, did some good things defensively, did some good things offensively. Made a, he has four assists, but he made a couple passes that we botched and uh, that should have both of them been you know, layups for our team. And so I, I thought he did a really good job. Um, Isaac, yeah, early on it just seemed like it was so easy inside, and then the second half they seemed to make it a little bit more difficult. Did they adjust, or did you guys just not continue to perpetuate going inside like you should have? Uh, I think that, you know, first half we did a really good job looking inside, and uh, we did a better job of posting. And uh, second half, I feel like sometimes we were posting really good uh, for both me and A.J., Sometimes we were, and then sometimes we weren't. And then, you know, of course, when if you look down there as a guard, I can understand their point of view when, you know, me or AJ is not posting right one time, then, you know, you don't want to throw it in. And it just it just turns into settling for jumpers and, you know, instead of going inside out. And I feel like we just didn't really focus on getting it inside the second half. John, where do you think it kind of went? wrong for you guys there? I mean, I think you still had a seven-point lead with about three minutes to go. Um, we called a timeout and uh, set ourselves up defensively into a 2-3, and we were, once we got the ball, then we were supposed to go into man. Um, lack of communication got um, Dallas a uh, shot in the corner to kind of change the momentum of the game. So, um, I mean, that's where it stands. We, we just need to come focused every day. Bryson, this, uh, you guys have been on such a good streak. Just what do you take away from a loss like this today? Uh, what I take per from it personally, um, you know, we just got to get better and we got to concentrate more on what our assignments are um, as a team and indivi <coughs> individually. And uh, I think we'll be all right. Um, I think it's a, a good learning lesson for us. But uh, I feel like we just need to uh, bring more energy um, and – continue to, uh, you know, uh, play to our strengths, and I think we'll be all right. John, you mentioned you need to bring focus every day. Do you feel like you guys were lacking focus and energy in this game? Um, at times. Um, first half, 
I think we started playing really well. Um, towards the end of the half, um, kind of got sloppy. We had a couple turnovers. Um, second half, we came out playing well. Um, they were battling as well. They were playing hard. And uh, we just let it slip away from us. Um, once they got the momentum, we still had an opportunity to win the game. And um, just lack of communication between um, us, the players, um, we let that one go. Isaac, you look back on maybe the last five minutes of the first half when you guys were, I think you had gotten up by 10 or 12 points and then dwindled back down to where it was at half and then the last five minutes of the game too. The way you guys finished both halves today probably might have cost you this game, do you think? Is that a question? Yeah. Do, do you feel like the way you guys played the last game? Oh, the um, no, I don't think it was that at all. I think it was uh, <clears throat> energy. We didn't, we didn't draw energy from anybody. We came out dead, and we weren't focused, and that's what cost us the game. It wasn't finishing the half. It was our focus as a team. Any guys <coughs> can answer this. Um, Coach Painter talked to us yesterday about you guys were probably in middle school when Purdue played a team called Wofford, and they had Robbie Hummel, Etwan Moore, and Jawan Johnson. Wofford came in here, very similar game. Did, did he mention that, and uh, if so, it just obviously must have not sunk in the way it should have. Well, I mean, since I've been here the longest out of all these guys, uh, I've heard him. I've heard him uh, say that, and he said they grew from that. Um, and you're right; it is a similar case. And I think that you know we're kind of learning the same lesson that they learned. But uh, I feel like we'll be all right. <clears throat> still, we just gotta uh, concentrate, do our assignment as a team and individually. And us, I, I, I feel like we can. Uh, we can get back on track. Do you guys feel like you got some pretty good shots in the second half? I mean, it seemed like you were getting some pretty good looks, and maybe they just didn't go down. Yeah, but it comes down to stops. If you can't get stops, then you can't win games. So um, I think we had like a – I think it was a seven-point lead at one time, and um, we said in the huddle, oh, we need to get stops and rebounds. Didn't get stops. We rebounded the ball. Um, we didn't score. And then we didn't turn around and get another stop after that. So, yeah. Bryce, I know this is lost in the loss, Bob. So you didn't play on Tuesday and came back and looked like you had one of your better games today. Just did you come with just more intensity today, <coughs> more energy, more focus? Or yeah, um, I just noticed that I've you know some of my my play hasn't been up to par, and I feel like. Uh, you know, it was good for me to uh, kind of sit out and kind of regain my, my focus and um, uh, just uh, try to get back on track. And I felt like it was a good thing. But um, I feel like uh, today my focus was just coming on, coming in the game, uh, bringing energy that we desperately needed and uh, uh, just carry out my assignment. And I tried to do that to the best of my ability. And um, it kind of worked for me a little bit. So. John and Bryson, can you just guys kind of to speak to guarding more? I mean, you know, the first half he didn't shoot that well, and the second half he just kind of seemed to spark them somehow. Um, again, lack of communication between um, us as a whole kind of got him open shots. Uh, I think in the first half, um, AJ called the screen out, and um, I, for some reason I thought it was Vince, and we were sw switching one through four. So... Um, I slowly, casually just went under the screen, and when I s turned to look, AJ um, Vince wasn't there. AJ was in the paint, so I tried to close out, and he ended up hitting the shot. And um, you know, it was just he scored off of our mistakes. He he hit that three, that big three. I think that put him up one in the corner, just from lack of communication. Thank you.